What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video we're going to talk about tips for dating an entrepreneur. So if you guys are new to the channel, I help non-technical people get into coding and we pretty much talk about everything from startups to coding and entrepreneurship here on Daring the Dev. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if this content is helpful for you. It really helps me stay motivated to keep making this content for you guys. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I feel like there's a few things you should keep in mind when you're dating an entrepreneur. And of course, I can only speak from my personal experiences with my relationships. So you guys can feel free to leave, like fill in the blanks anywhere where you feel like I missed some stuff. Tip number one, I would say is be tolerant of chaotic schedules or very busy schedules. Like this isn't easy, man. So there is no real blueprint. There is no roadmap. So no, no one really has the secret sauce or the magic key. And we're trying things every single day where we're testing our assumptions every day. We're hitting our head against the wall. We're trying stuff and we're failing. And all that is part of the journey. It's all part of the cycle or getting where you want to be. An entrepreneur's schedule can look different or is usually going to look very different from day to day. So from networking to, you know, if you're creating content or doing customer research, customer validation, like there's just so many things that go into or they could potentially be a part of a business owner's life that every single day could look different a lot of times those things take priority over their relationships sometimes if there's a big deal on the table and uh an entrepreneur has to go to this meeting to close the deal sign the contracts you know shake hands they might have to reschedule that that dinner date or that movie date or you know that that time with their loved one and i understand that that's also important too but a lot of times um at least for me personally but i know a lot of entrepreneurial friends that i have or that i do know their mission they do what they do for you know the lives of people that they love so uh whether it's their girlfriends their wives their family mothers brothers sisters whatever a lot of the times going to those meetings or um going to those networking events and moving that business forward that mission a lot of times is a way of giving love to those people and sometimes it it, it might have to come at the cost of not being able to physically be there and make certain commitments so you might have to deal with chaotic schedules things being kind of crazy random meetings and and different events and things popping up all the time but again such is life when somebody has a mission that they they really, really are committed to and that they're going to work towards until they get it. So just keep that in mind when you're dating somebody with that mindset. All right. Tip number two is be willing to embrace that their goals come first. All right. So this kind of ties into number one. But again, it's just understanding that this person is on a mission. They they clearly have a vision for their life. They're designing their life to be a certain way. And even if you don't see any proof of what they're doing is working right now. If that person is seriously putting the time and the effort and the energy and the money and the sweat and the tears into whatever they're they're trying to pursue, then you kind of have to at least respect the fact that they are really after this goal. They're really after this dream. They're putting in the time, they're putting in the energy, they're putting in the effort and you just have to understand that for at least the time being and so they realize something better or a better way of doing things that this is what they believe in this is what they want to do and it's a belief of theirs and you got to let them you know pursue that and go after that tip number three this one is very important i guess in probably any relationship which is remaining supportive through the ups and the downs and i know that one's pretty generic that's something that again you could say with friendships or family relationships, you know, this kind of applies just anywhere in life. But uh, the reason why I think I wanted to put this one in here is because with entrepreneurs, man, every day is kind of like this, you know, there's like emotional highs and lows and it's literally like a roller coaster. There's days where things are going really good. So in the case of, let's say YouTube, right? Let's say you get a hundred new subscribers and on that, at that time, you let's say you're going up, but then let's say one of your videos gets reported, you get flagged or your channel gets taken down or something like that. And now you're you're back down here on a decline, you're beating yourself up and you gotta start over and start creating your video and your brand, you know, all from scratch, all over again. So, you know, uh, that's just an example, but point being that 
again, there's no secret answer. There's no blueprint. There's no master plan. There's no right or wrong. So every day is different. Some days things go really, really well, better than expected. And you're in the greatest mood. You want to go out, you want to celebrate and you want to be with your significant other. You want to you want to share that moment with them and you want them to be a part of that moment because that's what you work for because you do it for them a lot of the times too so when you do finally see success or something that you're proud of or that gets you excited you want someone to share that with however when things don't go that way and you get your hopes up and get extremely disappointed or something goes very wrong or you know especially if like money's at stake or like deals and contracts are at stake you as the spouse or the significant other could have to deal with the influx of emotions and kind of like mood swings and things that come with that and again you got to understand this is everything to this person this is their their heart their soul their blood sweat tears their dreams what they what they dream about what they think about what they're planning and doing all the time right vision boards and making notes and again planning and just all these different things they're doing to create this life for themselves this vision and when they get you know that kind of broken or challenged or disappointed it could be really hard sometimes and if you're not an entrepreneur you might have to just be able to kind of understand and cope with and be supportive of you know your significant other while they're going through those kind of ups and downs while they're on that journey because it is extremely extremely difficult and the last one is i think really really important it's something that um i've always kind of craved in my relationships but it's be involved in your partner's mission if you can. If you're dating an entrepreneur, you know, I don't know too many people that don't want their spouse to be involved in whatever their mission is, for, whether that's a small business owner, a uh, brick and mortar business, a YouTube channel, videography, photography, you know, bakery, like literally anything, anybody that I know that has a business, a side hustle, um, you know, any sort of entrepreneurial venture, and they have their, uh, a spouse or they're in a relationship, usually, even if the spouse doesn't help out in the business and everything, you know, that's fine. Everyone's relationship is different. But what I'm saying is, I think that entrepreneurs would tend to include the people who they love most in what they're doing so that it, it can feel like you're not sacrificing work for, you know your your dating life or your romantic life or whatever you can bring the two together by being involved in that person's mission and showing them you know that support that we talked about in the other tip and just being being there for them and showing them how much you actually believe in what they're trying to do and so again i just that's these are just personal tips um but i just wanted to put these things out there you know to put the feelers out there see how you guys feel you know as entrepreneurs and people who watch this channel people who are learning to code and trying to change their lives and do things differently go through different transitions you know this is an important topic and i you know i just wanted to kind of put this out there and see what do you guys think did i miss anything what other important tips would you guys say for yourself as an entrepreneur or you know have you dated an entrepreneur and had your own experiences you know leave me leave them down in the comment section below let's talk about it you guys um be sure to check out the freebie section. Also, I created an awesome course, you guys, a free course, an intro to coding bootcamp course. So if anybody out there is thinking about going to a coding bootcamp, pump the brakes, hold up before you do that, before you spend the money, make sure you go check out the description box, check out my free intro to coding bootcamp course. Make sure you guys take that. You're gonna build a front end project, a back end project. You're gonna be so well prepared for the first week of coding bootcamp. So take that course first. Uh, check out the other resources in the freebie section. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And this is Darren with Darren the Dev, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.